It really is a sad statistic. Since 2010, the female jail population has been the fastest growing correctional population. Today, Andrea Isom gets an eye-opening look at what some of those women face on a daily basis. That's right, Matt. I teamed up with the L.A. County Sheriff's Department to spend a day in the life with the inmates and guards at the largest women's jail in the country. And I have to say, it was much more than I expected. Shirts on. It's body count. I need your wristband. At the Central Regional Detention Center. This is it. This is really how your day starts. Correct, ma'am. For LA Sheriff's Deputy Georgina Bautista, numbers matter. If one thing is out of place, you're shutting this place down. That's correct. Wristbands, ladies. I need to see your wristband. What do you think people don't know about running a women's jail? That it's dangerous. A lot of people think that women don't have power. That's not the case. They are the shot callers here and out on the streets, bringing in drugs. They're making weapons. So we're at 121? Yes, ma'am. Shut your door. Why would you want to work in a jail? Who does that? Why? <laughs> are you serious? People need help everywhere, whether it's just within these four walls or out on the street. Commander Maria Gutierrez runs the largest women's jail facility in the country, and a famous one at that. This is, after all, Los Angeles, where stars can often fall. Some popular people have walked these halls. Hilton, Lohan, Kardashian, Richie, Rodriguez, to name a few. Celebs don't share cells with the general population, but it's not a reward for being famous. We purposely put them in an individual cell somewhere where they won't be in general population. For their safety, of course, it just causes less disruption among the other inmates. Around here, it's more than bodies, famous or not, that count. It's also souls. Ladies, why is there talking? 2,000 of them any given day. Women who fell through the criminal cracks, Many repeat offenders who know no other home, like Alice Alvarez, 44 years old. You've been here before? Numerous. How many times? I say at least 20. My drug use brought me here. It's a story often repeated. 80% of all inmates are addicted to some type of drug. 75% of all women are traumatized in one way or another. We average 50 women a day that are pregnant. Gutierrez and Bautista have a troubled and captive audience, literally. And that's an opportunity they are not about to waste. What can we do to help them not come back? The idea is that when they leave here, they have a plan. They have a plan so that they won't recidivate. L.A. County is creative and innovative when it comes to helping reinvent inmate lives. It's a full-service facility with counseling, education, job training, substance abuse treatment, even cooking class. We have a whole culinary section that's uh, taught to several inmates, and upon the completion of the program, they get a certificate so that they can take that with them, hopefully to get a job when they're released. What's the point of putting someone in a, in a cell uh, watching TV um, when they have the opportunity to be exposed to all kinds of different types of programming here? It's the first LA jail to offer in-custody services. They're human beings and they should be treated as such. And it's about healing on the inside and the outside too. Removing a tattoo can erase a lot of bad memories. I had four sessions already with this name being removed. Tell me why this is something you no longer want to be associated with. Um, it's my one of my children's father, and um, he was sentenced to a lot of time, and um, he's also gang-related, and I have um, nothing to do with any of that lifestyle anymore. In the jail salon, inmates get a makeover in more ways than one. We all like to look good. Of course. They want to feel great, and honestly, it helps keep them at ease. If there are any critics to this hold but heal approach. You know, I'm not here to play judge and jury. I'm here to help people. Yes. Crystal Carmelo and Angela Anderson work in the laundry room. There's tons of it. For every day they work, 
they get credit toward release. It's giving me something useful to do, um, and I'm also helping others while I'm here, you know, making sure that they have clean linen underwear and all of that stuff. Thank you so much. Medications are carefully dispensed. Special dietary needs are addressed. When you see success, it feels like what? The miracles happen every single day. I sit down for some heart-to-hearts with a few of those success stories. I wake up at 6 o'clock in the morning, and I say, OK, you know, I want to learn something today. Alice Alvarez is the inmate who told us this is probably her 20th visit to county jail, this time for possession of a controlled substance for sale. But she's hoping it will be her last when she's released in eight months. Tell me your inmate number. 4564249. You say it, what do you think? That I'm more than just a number? That I have a name? It's Alice Alvarez. What do you want to say to the people who believe in you when you have doubt in you? Thank you for never giving up on me. that I could have made it without them. <laughs> Yesenia Gonzalez is an eight-timer. I started uh, selling drugs, home invasions, stealing cars. This stint behind bars for using someone's ID to get credit. What didn't you get on the outside that you are getting here? Counseling and a second chance. Yesenia was released just 10 days after our visit. She went home to her seven children, eagerly waiting for her. That's an incentive. Before, I would be like, what home? Just whoever comes to pick me up or whenever I make it back to the valley and just hit the streets. Now it's like, I'm actually gonna have my family come pick me up, I'm going home. I'm actually going home. Your message to all of them would be what? Don't give up. Don't give up hope. There's so much to offer. There's so much that you have, you know, so much potential. Yes, there's an enemy that keeps coming back, but hopefully that one day when I do talk to her and she gets it, that's the day she's not coming back. And I've had quite a few of those stories, and that's rewarding. The last thing I need to worry about is turning in these keys. Voila, and that's it. Thank you. Have a great day. You too.